Hi, Mama. Hi, Sue. All right. Take, take two. two. All right. Okay. This is always great in live broadcasting. You never know what happens. Everything was working five seconds it's before not, we went live. Luck is, I guess, the oh. luck just didn't work. All right. All anyway, right. so thank you guys for that little slight, uh, being patient during that little Okay, so our break. opening act, you missed it. So, so sorry. sorry. So sorry. Yeah, it was it's funny. Weird. We were laughing. Yeah, we were so, just dying. All right. All right. right. So here's a wonderful painting for tonight. And let's go. That's it. All right. All right. Okay, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for your patience. <laughs> Uh, Nick and I own Pain and Chill. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thanks for spending your Saturday night with us. Thanks for taking time to take care of yourself and, and enjoy this. So we like to focus on having fun during our painting classes. And uh, we try not to have, just have serious instruction. Nick is actually going to lead up some family feud for with us. We're going to have some winners. Um, if you see me keep glancing left, it's because my comment screen is actually to the left of me. I'm not talking to my invisible friend. So that's why I keep looking to the left. Um, what else can I tell you? So Nick and I have been doing this since 2014. And we are used to teaching um, with people around us, you know, live, I mean, in person. And so um, it's a little different. It's a lot different for us to be teaching virtually and not have the feedback and not see everybody's paintings as they're, as they're coming along because that was meant the world to us. And so we really appreciate it when people do send us the uh, um, paintings afterwards. Um, um, so, did you hear that? I tried to I tried to get that out of the shopping cart the other day and it didn't work. <laughs> All right, so we do really appreciate everyone um, who's, who takes the time Kat and, and her mom, Alice, and, um, and Lisa and Robin and Jessica to send us the pictures afterwards after you paint them because we just, we're literally just like proud parents. We're like, oh my gosh, look at their talent. Like we had anything to do with your talent. But um, so we really appreciate it. So the other thing is because we can't glance over and see if you're getting behind or if I've confused you. <laughs> your mom is yelling at you. Paint. Oh my gosh. All, All right, right, get so, to it, she says. <laughs> All right, this is going to be the so official. To, <laughs> when you hear that, it's time to keep moving. Time to keep so moving. I just want to say, the only thing I want to say is please make sure in the comments that you tell me if I'm going too fast. I'm a pretty rapid speaker. Um, just tell me if I'm going too fast, too slow, if that stupid chicken, that leprechaun chicken is getting on your last nerve because it's getting on mine. And um, so just, we're just going to leap into it. Okay, so this lucky hat with the shamrocks and my lucky four-leaf clover. Um, it was designed to be painted on a 16 by 20. However, if you don't have a 16 by 20, that is absolutely fine. You can paint it on anything. I know a couple people are using um, um, their sketchbooks and some other people might be using, you know, some, some wood that they found, a table they pulled out of the garbage. Um, their significant other shirt, you know, whatever you want to paint on is absolutely fine. Whatever you do or don't want to add of the way that I painted it is absolutely fine too. So the first thing that we're going to do is, um, unless you're free handing it, and I'll talk about that in a moment, is trace the pattern over. Now I know when the pattern, com pattern comes over, it's a little, how do you say that word? Pixelated? Pixelated? Yeah. Pixelated? Sorry. It's a little pixelated. So just kind of trace around on the on the major lines, okay? Um, Vicki, you should be able to go to, it should be right on the Facebook, um, right on that Facebook main page. Can we send her a link? Um, One minute while I see if we can help Vicki get in. Yeah, you want to do that? And I will, um, I will try and set something up on this side too. Vicki, we're looking at it. You should be able to get right on the main page there. Okay. All right. So, um, so Vicki, Nick is, if any, and if anybody has any technical dif uh, difficulties, please just jump in there and say so, um, and we'll get it straight because we can see all your comments. I am going to go ahead and just show you how to, um, how to trace the pattern over you, a couple of different ways. Sorry about that. Move my paint. I'll get my canvas out of the direction there. So, um, so usually you would trace it over with graphite paper, and graphite paper is kind of dull on one side and shiny on the other. So you're just going to put the. I went ahead and did mine so I can help you if I didn't need help. By the way, 
So um, you're going to put the shiny side down if you have it. And then you're just going to line up. And I taped my pattern all together so it's not so it made it easier to um, to trace. So so when you put it on your um, your board, you can kind of put it wherever you want to line it up at. You can pull the hat further down because the bottom of the painting is um, the bottom of the painting is the grassy area. So you can have the grassy area shorter if you want to. All right. So you can just kind of line it up on your canvas and then trace over it, and you'll and it'll trace all out. Now you don't need to worry about tracing the. Um, you don't need to be worried about tracing the stems on the clover because we're just going to kind of go in there and um, uh, kind of freehand those later and we kind of know where they're at. All right, so we're going to do that. Now, if you're freehanding the, um, if you're freehanding it, the, the hat from this side, the hat comes down about halfway if you're just kind of winging it, you don't have the pattern, you're freehanding it is um you come down about the hat's down about halfway it's about you know a thumbs width off of this side about a thumb off of this side and then the grass is kind of like i always say like the the l for laverne um area down here okay so if you're freehanding it or you don't have the pattern or your printer decided that it wasn't going to cooperate at the last minute and um, that's kind of a way to to kind of freehand it so I'm going to give everybody a minute just to go ahead and get that traced over. And then Vicki, just let me know if you were able to get in. If not, we're going to try something different. So. Okay. All right. So let me know once you get it traced over. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because you can paint over those lines if you need to, for sure. You can just paint over them, so it's no problem. And if you, um, so then the next thing we're going to do after that is outline everything in black. The original painting did not call for it to be outlined in black, but once we, once we uh, painted it and Nick took a look at it, he was like, oh, you know, it would really pop if it was outlined in black. And sure enough, we did it, and it actually does pop that way. So, um, the rainbow we added at the end, I went with kind of retro colors for mine. I didn't want them to really be really bright colors to take away from everything else. After um, our last after our last class, when Laverne was um, talking about magically delicious, that just got stuck in our head. And so we ended up being like, oh, you know, we should do a magically delicious rainbow across there so that's how we end up the rainbow you don't have to put it on there or you can put a brighter one on there if you'd like to all right happy saturday judy good to see you all right and vicky just let me know if you were able to get in i'm going to wait just a minute for everybody to um kind of get the pattern traced i'm going to get this out of the way and i'm going to talk about the paint colors real quick all right so i'm going to get this out of the way Boom, put that over there. Okay. So there were lots of different colors green we could do this. So I did post on uh, Facebook a couple of different experiments. I did with the different colors green so that you could see the, all the different color greens that you could use. And the one color that I felt like didn't have like the best success with was actually called shamrock. It was, it's a super thin green. And so I actually went with um, this crisp green. Hi Sue, so glad you joined us. Check your messages for your your prize you got for Family Feud. It's in your Facebook message. So I went with a crisp green and then I use a marsh green to kind of uh, do some highlighting and shadowing. All right, so everybody just let me know if you're kind of caught up, if you've traced, if you've gone around it with your permanent marker and then we will get started. So the other colors that I used were, I'm not checking text messages while I'm painting. I'm actually checking to make, oh, okay, Vicki's in. Okay, good. I'm actually just checking to make sure everybody's um, in okay. 
So I am checking text messages, but I'm just checking up on you guys. That's all. Just making sure everybody. Got yeah, everything. yeah, yeah, yeah. Diane, I did just send you the. Um, I sent you the pattern just right at the right at the last minute there. I loved everybody's. I loved everybody's leprechaun names. They were just so perfect. Vicky says vibrant Nick wobbles. <laughs> Thought that was great. Nick's was um, noisy. What was yours? Noisy. With wobbles, I think, which is so perfect because he's he is so noisy. So, what are you using a paint pen or a sharpie? Um, I'm going around just with a sharpie. I just did a regular sharpie, and this you could do a thin point sharpie, or um, mine is actually how did I lose it already? I just had it. The sharpie, it's oh, over sharpie there. I just had it. It's over there. Oh, so mine I think was actually a medium, so it's fine. Because as you can see, we're just going to be painting all, you know, on the inside of it. Yeah, well, mine isn't, isn't fine. But I think it really doesn't matter. And you actually, you don't have to. But um, when we're doing the blue, the other, uh, kind of the other reason we went with doing the outline too was because just like we did with the llama, when we outlined every, the other things in black, when we're painting the blue over it, then we can still see where our pattern was after we traced it. All right. Hi, Mama. All right. Okay, so we're just going to trace around it. Kat and her mom are still, still just tracing. Kat, you could actually go back and trace too if you want to after it's completely dry, just so you guys know. Okay. All right. So I always do, I just use these foam trays that I get from the Dollar Tree for my paint. And I'm just going to keep my phone here in case anybody has any other questions. And I just use these foam trays. Always have some paper towels. And almost all of tonight's, um, tonight's painting I, I just did with the uh, three-quarter inch brush okay except some of the finer lines you might you might need so i'm going to go ahead and get started painting the background kind of show you what I'm, I'm doing with that and then if you have any questions continue to just stick them there in the comments and we will answer for you as you go along all right so you can use i know my when i sent the supply list every single color i listed i said it doesn't matter which Blue, but it doesn't matter which color blue. Green, but it doesn't matter which color green. So the blue that I that we like to use, um, and we have them for the, the Yeti guy up there, we do it a lot for the backgrounds because it's it's just a nice sky color. It's, uh, it's actually an apple barrel. It's called Blue Bonnet, and we like that color a lot. And so um, I'm just going to squeeze some of that on my palette. And then I always like to, to double load colors so that they're not just sitting there by themselves. And I'll show you what that means. I'm just going to squirt some white on there too, because most guys, you know, do have some white on there. All right. So I always want to wet my brush and then um, use paper towel and kind of get out the excess. And then I'm just going to kind of double load it, which means I'm going to get um, half the paint in blue, half in white, and then I'm just going to kind of pull it out and um, start painting my sky. All right, and so we're just going to start laying the paint down on the on the canvas. And skies are wispy, so and if you go a little bit into your pattern or over the thing, so we're just going to paint the background. We're going to paint the sky blue, and we are going to paint the edges of the painting. That's very important too. All right. So while we do that, we're just going to paint over everything. You might like yours a lighter color. You might want to do some wispy whites in there. However you want to do your sky, it's, it's your sky, okay? All right, and while we do that, Nick is going to look and find our first family feud question. And we're just going to keep, when you feel your brush starting to drag, you can add just a little bit of water and, um, and that'll thin it out some and make it flow across your canvas a little bit easier, okay? Just a little bit of water in there. All right. Are you ready for my first question or do you need more It's time? up to you. Are you ready for your first I question? I don't know if I'm ready or He not. doesn't know if he's ready or not. No, I won't. Right? I'm, and I'm, so we're just going to go around the edge of the hat here. I'm going to just do um, a couple of questions maybe that have to do with uh, St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day or Yay. something like that. So let me, uh, let me see if I can find it for you.
All right. Is everybody doing okay? Um, Sue, it should be in your in your Facebook messages where we talk on Facebook messages sometimes. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm going to come over and ask a nice question. Okay. I'm going to move over this way just a little bit so you could come over here. Oh. How's that? Oh my God, I forgot you had that stupid thing. <laughs> He won't let me get real chickens, but he's got this dumb thing. Get him out of here. <laughs> okay. So, question number one. Tonight's Family Feud. By the way, we're doing it five top answers. Um, number one will be worth 20 points. The second uh, answer, so top of the top five. Number two answer will be worth 10. Uh, number three is worth five. Number four is worth three I'm points. Confused. And... Fifth point, fifth question is worth one point. So 20, 10, 5, 3, 1. Got it. Got it? Good. I'm totally confused. It's math. Forget it's a number about things. It. <laughs> All right. So Name I'll you find it later. something that is associated with Ireland. Ooh. I like that. I like that. Name something associated with Ireland. These are these are um, people. This is from Family Feud. Survey says, "Yep." Okay. Yep. All right. All right. So you don't have to be perfect getting in these little areas by the clover. If you go over the clover and the shamrocks, <laughs> does not matter because oh shamrock, yay! All right. Leprechaun, yay! We've got some answers coming in already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, because we're just going to paint over this anyway, and it's going to be highlighted. And again, the sky's not a perfect blue color anyway. I'm not sure if Lisa's on, but this is just the kind of thing that would drive Lisa crazy, trying to make everything absolutely perfect. Um, but it doesn't have to be um, perfect in here. And getting in those little crevices there, if you hold the brush straight up, like straight up like that, it'll be easier to get in the little crevices, okay? This is going to be our like our first coat, and then we're going to go back and touch everything up anyway, like we always do. All right. What else do we have? Leprechaun. Beer. Cats of beer. <laughs> Who says potatoes? What is potatoes? Potatoes. It is potatoes. Potatoes. Yes. No, no. Nick knows nothing about Ireland, y'all. He's Italian. He didn't. They didn't have. He was raised in an Italian neighbor, and they had no Irish people yes, we close did. by. Well, didn't they make like, potato dumplings and stuff? <clears throat> no, we don't eat potato dumplings. No, I'm talking about the Irish people in your neighborhood. So, they, so Judy's got shamrock. Judy had leprechaun too. Didn't uh, she? She, well, yeah, the she first one she said was shamrock, ah. which um, is number two on the list. So two goes to Judy. Alrighty. Um, and then beer is a good answer. Um, <laughs> not in the top five, but you know what? I like it so much, I'm going to give her one point. So, cat it gets... really is what it's come to be, right? When, when people talk about it, that really is what I just painted my phone. Oh, my goodness! Yeah, all right, we got um, shamrocks. Um, can you get Bob's leprechaun? Question? Robin's got leprechaun, and that is a number one, so... I love leprechauns. I was not going to even try to paint it. Mom, I'm going to show them your shirt in a minute. And four is pubs. Pubs, yes. I like that one, too. So that is... Oh, who did that one? That was Judy. Judy, you can't have two answers. You can't have the two answers. You can answers. have as many as you want, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Christine's got the stones up there. Stones. Oh yeah. Stone oh, I thought right about inside. that's very good. Irish stew green. Yeah. Okay, green is number three, by the way, and that's Nancy. No, is that, oh no, it's uh, who's got green? Green Laverne. is my favorite color. It's Laverne's totally got favorite color. has got green. Laverne's granddaughter is going to paint this with her. Isn't that cool? Sheep. Sheep. Sheep? Was <laughs> <laughs> that made me laugh so hard I painted into the hat. 
Music is a yeah, good answer. Yes. Food's good answer. It's all good answers. Um, I think of limericks, and I remember my um, dad and his army buddies coming up with limericks, and they would start the limerick, and it'd be like, there once was a girl named, and then my aunt and my mom would be like, shh, don't, don't quote that, don't quote that. Pretty sure they didn't end well. All right, so we're going to continue just to get the sky around these clover. Again, it doesn't matter if it goes into it because we're going to paint over it anyway. Whoever said. And then I'm just going down like this far for the. Let me move it up so you can see it. Like this far for the grass, the grassy area down here. Like maybe right around in there. I kind of put it under the. Um, the four leaf clover because I love the four leaf clover. So my pattern ended up pretty far, pretty far down. I moved it down some. And I put in a four leaf clover because we are pretty lucky to get to spend our Saturday evenings with you guys. All right, so we're just going to keep filling in the background with our blue. I just keep adding water to mine to get it across the canvas a little bit easier. <laughs> oh, I'm so out of it tonight. I don't know who said green, but I It'll put come back around. I put green as the person's name instead of the ant. <laughs> Who said green? Let me look back here and see. We're going to have to look back and see. Mm. Nick, oh, is trying to get, <laughs> Nick is trying to get all of your um, answers straight and your scores straight. We do have, um, I know there was, uh, I asked you guys to vote between the leprechaun. I think Vicki actually got this whole thing started about the about a St. Patrick's Day thing. So you, you gotta have Vicki to thank for getting us going on doing the St. Patrick's Day one. I never put enough paint on my palette. I never, I never remember to put enough down. So um, we did wanna let you know that, did you do a bunny one? Or no, no, I didn't. that's okay. And um, we did wanna let you know that since, ever, since everyone was kind of torn between the shamrock and the bunny, we are going to be, Ta-da! Is it Madagascar? Madagascar? What'd you say? Okay. Um, oh, he's Jason. talking to himself. Judy's <laughs> Madagascar. That's, that's, that's Africa. That I don't know. It's off of Africa. We are going to, next Wednesday, we are going to go ahead and do the um, Shy Bunny painting. And um, so, because I know there was a lot of people who was really interested in doing him. We're going to do him next Wednesday. He is on a... What size is this? 11 by 12? 11 by 14? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what size this canvas is, but I will send you a supply list if you're interested. He's super easy and, and fun to do for um, for Easter. So we are going to be doing him. All right. And that'll be next Wednesday since everybody was super interested in him. I think that's 11 by 14. Yeah, that's, an that's just an 11 by 14. And so he probably will only take maybe, yeah, maybe an hour, hour and a half to do. But he is so cute to do. So there you go for the people that were just so torn or really wanted the bunny. Um, we are going to take the time and do the um, bunny next Wednesday. All right. And then the week after that, we're not going to paint anything that Saturday. Um, because the week after that was when we're doing the spring thing. Mm -hmm. We're doing um, a spring break. It's for all ages. It's five classes for $17. And we're going to paint every night that week at 7 o'clock. We're going to paint um, the unicorn, um, the child. Uh, there's a really cool desert horse we're going to paint. Um, something fun to do for everybody for the spring break. I know some people that have signed up, they're doing it with... Um, you know, doing it with their kids because their kids are on spring break and some people are doing it like virtually with their um, families because, you know, nobody can get together anymore and everybody's on spring break. So you can you can email uh, painandchill at gmail 
um, for more information and you can sign up on PayPal or um, on Facebook, either one. No, or however you want I've to I've actually got that right here. Why don't I just go ahead and run there that for There you go. Everybody. Nick has more information there you about go. that. And everybody, there it goes. Right across your bottom screen. It took me a second to type that in. But All right, there thank it is. you. So yeah, I'll show you some of the paintings after I get through the background here. It is this background is just a little time consuming to do. Zoop. That we're just gonna wedge in there and get all the all the blue covered in there, all the sky in the background. I don't know why it is no matter what family, no matter what questions you come up with Family Feud, every single Saturday, somehow, it there ends up being the topic of food and I end up being so hungry. So no food <laughs> questions tonight. No food questions. I'm going to do food tonight. <laughs> I've got to. And again, if it start, if your paint starts dragging, you're going to add some water to it. Oops, I missed a little spot right in there. Doesn't matter if it gets inside of your um, shamrock there because we're just going to paint over it. All right, I'm going to add some more blue to this area here because I put too much white there. I always like it when I do that. That way you can kind of see that kind of how to correct what you might think would be mistakes. And as you paint along, you'll see that as the paint starts drying, as you get towards the bottom, there'll be um, There'll be areas that'll have like white spots. You can see the canvas through like right here. And then you can just go back and kind of cover those up because the canvas really drinks the paint up. All right, any questions? Everybody doing good? And Sue, yes, I'm gonna send that back to you. Oh, castles, oh, pot of gold. Yeah, I wasn't gonna try to paint a leprechaun or that pot of gold. <laughs> I just couldn't imagine painting those, but castles i would love to see some of the castles who else would love to be able to travel again so we could go see stuff oh wait you have to show everybody mom's shirt can you show i gotta pull it up on my phone wait, what do my you, mom my what, huh? when did this happen just now i gotta show everybody mom's shirt uh, all right time out for... sorry time out i gotta show you guys my mom's shirt <laughs> all right how do you do let, that? let me know when you get it ready okay i'm ready all right, Lord help us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Can everybody see it? <laughs> Can everybody see my mom's shirt she's wearing? Well, if you get your hand out of the way. Shut up. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> we know we are alive. <laughs> uh, hi, Mama. Here's my mama's shirt she's wearing tonight. This is my mom. Say hi, Mama. <laughs> this is her shirt she's wearing. A lot like this one. She's a copycat. Right. <laughs> and to top it off, right now we're um, how many uh, how many hours apart? We're like we like live ten hours from each other for right now. We did not coordinate our costumes at all. Okay, I'm gonna paint around this side here. We should have made a pot of soup or something. Right? <laughs> Is anybody going to eat that's Irish right now? There's, yeah. No snacks. I don't, I know. What's a good Maybe. Irish snack? Oh, like beer. Skinny popcorn. Beer and peanuts. Yeah, I don't, I don't drink beer, so yeah, that's, that's, that's bad. That's very nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know at this point I'm going to eat popcorn and just say that that's Irish. <laughs> All right. Right. Okay, I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna paint the top here. Whoops, too much water there. Dribble. Did you dribble? I did dribble. I dribbled down the front of there, but that's okay. All right. Did anybody beat me getting the sky done? Cause my sky is taking forever here. I think the first time I did it, I must have done it with a big, uh, with a big brush, with a big house brush. Uh-oh, we're going to lose one. 
All right, and I'm just going all down the side and making sure I have the side all painted. And I'm gonna flop it back down, zoom. And then when I picked it up, it ran a little bit and ran into my hat, which is perfectly fine because I can just wipe it out of there. Because I'm just going to go back anyway and paint oh, over I'm it. I'm looking for some Irish mob questions too. Irish mob questions? Yeah, it's kind of an Irish mob question. Did so. the Irish have mobs? Yes, yes. Green eggs and ham. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Um, green eggs and ham. I'll just, I'll never forget that one time I made, I made um, green eggs and ham for my, <laughs> and it just, I made for my kids, I was teaching and they were like five to seven years old. And they just looked at it so suspiciously, like, oh my God, that they just, they didn't even want to eat it because it looks, green eggs just really looked so gross to them. They didn't get the whole theme thing at all. And green ham, they really didn't like the green ham idea. <laughs> They're like, oh, me no like, Miss Deb, me no like. Like, you didn't even taste it. It's just ham. Ham. Yep. As Ponyo would say. They did not care. Did not care. Okay. So, how are we doing there? Good, good. Soon when I get done, I'll, I'll resend that. Um, I'll resend that to you, okay? I thought you'd get, um, do you need something to drink or anything? You okay? I have some water. I have not propelled water, but okay. thank you. Yeah, the background definitely takes a, a wee bit of time. Is that an Irish thing? Wee bit? That's a wee bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sue actually won last week's um, Family Feud, and I sent her her prize, and she didn't even know it, and now she can't find it, so I'm going to have to resend it. No big deal. I'll get it to you. I'll get it to you after the show. All right, so I'm just going to go back. I have my, I have it all painted, and I have the sides painted. So I'm just going to go back and touch up some of these areas that, um, that the paint just uh, was a little bit too thin, or that the canvas ate it up, and that it didn't get in there all the way. And we're always at the end of the painting, and I like to just go back and kind of look for those kind of things. Um, this area right here, if you're doing the, if you're going to do the rainbow, you don't need to be too concerned about making sure of the, you know, the coverage around that. Yep. Okay. Is everybody caught up with their sky? <laughs> uh, and Sue said green beer. <laughs> All right, is everybody caught up with their blue background? Which again, we you know, we can go back and make any adjustments on it as well a little bit later. This area down here, we're saving for some grass. <laughs> My canvas was thirsty. It really ate up some of the yeah paint in here <clears throat> okay so what's our next step our next step is going to be we're going to green everything we're just going to paint everything green mm. the green no matter what color you use tends to be super thin and so we're actually um going to uh, paint most of it twice it'll be perfect right, so fine. while you're doing that i'll ask the next question all right next question and then is, i think um i think everybody will be caught up by the cat you you and your mom doing okay are you caught up okay um, cat and her mom alice they should be teaching the class because yeah. they are so talented we're gonna have guest artists teach some nights All right, I'm going to leave mine like that. I'll probably go back later and fill in some of these spots as they dry. But I'm going to rinse out my brush and put my blue out of the way for right now. All right, I'm going to come up with another question. And I'm going to switch water. You switch waters. I'm going to come up with a question. All right. I've got to find my chicken. Okay. You chicken? Oh, my God. I need my chicken. chicken. We should come up with a name for our chicken. All right, we've got to name the chicken. Name the chicken. 
What do you think he should be Everybody called? Everybody who names him gets their name put in. Oh, a, oh, oh. Gets their name put in a <laughs> in a drawing for the chicken. I'll mail him to you. <laughs> that should be tonight's prize. It's, the it's chicken. gonna be the chicken. <laughs> can, I'll happily make it tonight's if, prize. If you stick your finger in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't take much to amuse some people, you know? All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Question number two for the night. Does. Name an insect that really bugs you. <laughs> they don't bug me. They like me. Name an insect that really bugs you. I like that. Okay. Mama had a bug bite her the other day. No, no. They almost made her eyes switch it again. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay, so two <laughs> questions. One is name this dumb chicken. We got and your name will be entered <laughs> centipede. Bees. Bees. And your name will be entered into a contest and there'll be a drawing and you can you're gonna win him. Now it's ex I don't know who's excited, me or me about that. All right, so while you're doing that, I do want to um, show you the paintings for the spring. Uh, and we're going to do this um, for the people that were running late. Nancy, I'm not sure if you were here or not, but this is, we're going to do this next Wednesday, March 6th. And then the week after that, we're doing a spring break blitz. And so we're going to paint, <sighs> I can't reach him. What, what, what? I can't reach him. The Yeti, what else are we going to paint? Was yeah. Okay. So we're painting the Yeti. Um, is going to be one of the things. I just love him. Um, we're going to paint the Yeti. He's going to be one of the paintings for spring break class. Uh, we got some really good answers here. Ants, mosquitoes. Sounds like they're all. No seams. Hey. hey. I'm Floridian. Who's <laughs> <laughs> that? Who's in the seams? Flies. We're going to paint the Yeti during spring break. What else are we painting? Let's try to find out some of these names here. Let's, see here. Let's start seeing who we got. All right. Okay. We got um, here. Here's some names for the chicken. Chicken names. Here, here's chicken name. I'll show that chicken name. There's a. Uh... Blarney. I love it. I love it. What? <laughs> work for <laughs> what does that one say? Yeah. Quacker. It's an interesting qu quacker. Quacker. <laughs> uh, Blarney, I love. Uh, green chickens. Bees. All right, cat. My name means busy as bee, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for our family feud here, I'm looking for. Okay. All right, so I hope everybody's caught up with painting the background blue. Uh, while you continue to get those answers in for the wonderful chicken and for Family Feud, we're going to move on to painting um, the green. All right, so, uh, and I switched uh, water myself as well. So we're going to paint, I'm going to use the crisp green. I liked the color, and, and sometimes I'm not sure um, how well the colors come across from what we're doing to what you're doing. So, um, and we did switch. What did we switch? Oh, I'm not technical, so I don't know. Here. <laughs> what? What? what we, we switched. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He can't, he can't multitask. <laughs> we switched from 720. What is it? To, and you can tell them later. So, we're going to use crisp green. Because <laughs> I, I do need your input about it. We're going to paint the top part of the hat down to the black brim. And again, if you end up in the buckle or the black brim area, it just doesn't matter. So we're just going to start across here, painting this green. Paint it um, in the motion. This way, paint it uh, horizontally because the hat kind of goes that way. And so those understrokes will help give that illusion of the, um, the hat being rounded like that. Okay. So kind of paint it in the direction that it's meant to be. Okay.
So Robin's got the first answer, with which is mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Yep. Even though the yeah, came not... in right behind her, and so did Mama. But Mama, well, she did mosquitoes well. She yep. got bitten, swore her whole eyes shut. <laughs> um, we've got number three answer is fly. And who got that first? It was a uh, someone got that. I think that oh that was Sue. Sue got number three answer first, and then number four answer, which is spider, goes to cat. The itsy bitsy spider. And then Christine gets the fifth answer, which is ant. I didn't see. Um, looking, looking for it. What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm looking to see if I'm going to it before I say it. All right. The other, there's one more. There's, the there's number one two more answer to that question. So we've got mosquito, fly, spider, ant, and bees are number six. So it doesn't really count on the list. But I'm looking for the number bees? two oh, answer. Oh, because you're doing five. Okay. Yeah. Number two answers, insects that really bug you. Bugs. And I'll give you a hint. Um, they crawl. So there. <laughs> but they all crawl. And not fire ants. We already have ants. Whether they're fire ants, carpenter ants. Fine. They're ants. No all uncles right. either. So we're just going across like that. Then the next thing we're going to do is paint um, all right. the brim. Look at that. Look at that. What? Look at that answer. What, what is Look it? Look at the answer. Ah! <laughs> That's it. That was it. That's it. That was okay. it. Oh. Number two answers, cockroach. That was <laughs> oh, very good. All right, so we're going to go around the brim of the hat. Same thing, paint it around the brim in the direction it's kind of going there, okay? Good guess, Andrea. Very good. Andrea's got 10 points for that. Robin's got 20 points. Sue has got five points. I think Sue went looking for the text and she got behind. <laughs> she went looking for the text that I sent her and she got, she got, She's got behind. Got... Let me turn this painting over. If you if you need me to show you anything on the painting, just um, just ask me and I can hold it up. Can they see this? No, I could. Um, yeah, next week I'll put another camera on it so you can have a yeah. picture on that at all times. So this is kind of what it looks like. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> so we're just going to go around the brim. Andrew says, I'm from Florida. I know. These <laughs> <laughs> yep. So Kat has got the number four answer. She gets um, three points for that. All right. And again, we're just going to go around this brim here. That was a good question. That, that was, was a good question. Yeah. Especially since Mama literally just got bit again. Yeah. But she did say mosquito too, but yeah, she was... Um... <laughs> Whoops. All right. I went way over the line on that one. That's okay. What you, all right, let me get a close up. Which one did you do? Let me see here. Let's see. Which were? Where'd you go? I went way over the line there. What do you guys think about this color green? Oh. <laughs> yeah. We have, we have the nicest um, Florida winter this year. So we're going to go ahead and just paint all of the shamrocks and the clover, the four leaf clover green as well it's, to me it turns out pretty thin so we're going to go back and um, paint it again and so we're just going to go ahead and fill all these in they are the same color as the hat so right here we're just going to do some shading later that's going to make those color that's going to kind of separate those colors shamrocks if you're freehanding shamrocks are kind of heart shaped but they don't have that um, sharp middle. And you might want to switch to 
they don't have the sharp metal here. They're more of a, a rounded metal. You might want to switch to um, maybe a, um, a number two round brush if you're having trouble, you know, getting around the corners there or a smaller, maybe, um, you know, maybe a little eight brush or something like that if you're having trouble getting around the, the corners like that, if you want to switch to a smaller yeah, brush. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Um, can I ask a technical question to my audience? You may. Uh, do, do I have a moment to ask that question? Please go ahead, because we just are going to be painting green for a little while here. Okay. Um, so to everyone out there who saw the um, the motorcycle one and what's the last one we did the llama, llama the turtle and the turtle for those of you guys who watched us live on that one and then watching this one tonight i'm wondering if the quality of video is better tonight than it's been on your end um, we did a couple upgrades tonight and we're trying it out one is we upped our um, high def quality and we also added a third camera. So we're just trying to see if you guys have noticed the difference in colors maybe, because on our end, we can't see. Uh, oh, I can see your phone from here. You can't? Yes, I'm talking okay. to Andrea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just Yes, can't... Andrea. <laughs> and I hope you made me paint my phone. Now they're struggling for texting while I'm working. <laughs> I did switch to a round brush, by the way. <laughs> So that's I'm just trying to see if we have a better, better picture, better quality. I know we had a sound mess up um, that maybe because of the quality we've all changed on this end too. So, um, yeah. yeah. So if you attended any of the other classes, can you tell a difference between like what is it going to be? The, the colors, color? the clarity. Yeah, if it looks a little color. sharper, a picture. Um, you know, just so we, we know on our end if it's worth the extra effort or if it doesn't make any difference on your Yeah, end. it's hard for us to, again, it's hard for us to kind of tell what you see, you know, for us to be able to, um, you know, to know if you, you, we got the colors right or any of those things. So your input and feedback is very valuable. Yep. It was a, it was a big difference in the... So Robin says clarity is better. Oh, good. Okay. okay. That's good to know, Robin. Thank you. Yep. Uh, that mom says looks nice. Nancy says looks good. Good. Okay. And I appreciate that. That, yeah. that helps us on our I was trying to improve it. And... Uh, Nancy says yes, better. So thank good. you. Good, good, good. <clears throat> Very good to know. So maybe we'll, we'll do the upgrade then. And... Yeah. So you just did just the trial, right? Right. Yeah. Right. So he just did a trial just to see what you guys thought, and then we'll and then we'll kind of go from there. And your mom said the perfect answer. What? Well, she you know she always does from this end, but on, <laughs> on her end she says you look younger. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm aging backwards. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. If this last year uh, aged me about uh, five years. I yeah, think. Are you still twenty nine? So. Yeah, I'll take it. We act like we're 29. Yeah, we think we are. That's all that matters. Till the next morning when we try to get up, it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> my body's killing me. All right, so we're just going to continue to paint inside of our shamrocks. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect inside there because we are going to have to put a second coat on. We're going to be putting some highlighting in there. So it doesn't have to be perfect. If you look at mine, you'll see I have some little white edges there. I'm fine with it because I know I'm going to go back and kind of highlight those areas. And Sue so says, yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Yeah, so we miss you guys up there. We're, um, we're, we're trying to trying to figure out a plan to come up there to North Carolina, to North Carolina, see you and um, it's just, um, we got to be cautious, you know. Yeah, we miss our face-to-face -face classes. For sure. And the problem with my second job <laughs> is I'm definitely around lots of elderly people, so um, I really got to be careful it, yeah. where, I, where I go. All right. And again, with the clover, you want to kind of paint in the direction that they would usually be. 
So kind of make that heart shape um, motion in there. Without fail, I never put enough paint on my palette. Never, never. There we go. This is another one of those paintings that the shading is going to make all the difference and make it and everything pop. And greens are notorious for being such a thin color usually. So I'm going to put two coats on mine, depending on which green you chose, you might have to put um, three coats. That's up to you. You know, you might, you might like it nice and thin. And actually this would probably be a pretty cool one to do in um, watercolor too. But I can't watercolor. I don't do a very good job with watercolor. But yeah, everybody make sure afterwards you send us the pictures of your paintings. So we sit up late at night because, you, know, you know, we're over here on the East Coast and some of you guys are on different time zones. And we sit late at night watching and waiting for your pictures to come yeah. in. We're like, oh my gosh, look! <laughs> Sometimes Actually, it, and, and Robin sent the, the turtle that Robin sent, she got hers um, done just a little bit later. I think she painted it afterwards. It looked like, it looked like stained glass. It looked like you could have made a stained glass turtle out of it. It was, it was awesome. But yeah. everybody's, everybody's turtles was like, why are they attending this class? Because they're so talented. Because it's fun. It's because it's a party, not a class. That's right. Wouldn't that, wouldn't uh, yeah. Time out while I get my hair off of my canvas. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they're so talented. And as time goes by, we're going to have some guest artists. I have a friend who does um, pour painting and really looking forward to trying what, that. What type of painting was that? Pour. Pour. Yeah, pour painting. It's, it's where you get stuff, you know, you pick out the garbage and you get stuff and you paint it. I can itch you already. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's a special, and you just pour the paint on, and then you have the stuff that pours on there. And maybe we'll do like a, a cooking pick. art class, too. Cooking? Yeah. Well, the who would cook? I would bring um, I would bring a chef in, oh. and he'd make some type of... Could you just bring him in now? Yeah. I'm kind of hungry. Uh, actually, we're, we're having pizza tonight delivered. Shocker. <laughs> this time, we actually ordered it ahead of time, <laughs> for those of you who are paying attention. Who are the shows? Um, anyway, so we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I am totally losing my hair here. So we're gonna have um, someone come and do pour painting, which I've always done. I've always wanted to do. I should say I've never done. I've always wanted to do. And um, I have a friend who does uh, flowers, like daisies. She does really well. So I was gonna see if she'd come on sometime and just show us specifically for just a few minutes how to do daisies or flowers that are you know, more intricate, so. All right, I hope everybody's following along okay. I'm gonna do my last little clover here that's that's um, falling down in the grass. I gotta look at the names that we came up with for, for the chicken. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see the chicken names. Let's I can't see. wait for the chicken to have a new home now, yeah. so thanks for, <laughs> thanks for trying to name him. <laughs> Yeah, here, one last look at the chicken before... <laughs> before it goes to your home. <laughs> see my little chicken? <laughs> he literally was playing with it in the store, and this lady was laughing so hard, she ended up having to buy one. It was like, oh my God. <laughs> he's famous now. He's been on TV. Yeah, he's going to be on, he's gonna be on Facebook Live. All right, so I'm just going to wait for this to um, dry a little bit. See some little areas where I missed, but again, it doesn't matter because we're going back over it again because that green is just so thin. Um, but thank you guys for, for always helping us out on Facebook and for... <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, the dumb chicken. <laughs> and, the, um, and for sharing our post and for pitching in and loving each other's, loving, loving on each other's paintings. It means the world to, um, to people. So, okay. So we're going to let that dry. 
And then we're gonna, if you have, um, if you have a liner brush, and we're gonna do the 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 um, stems for the the um, shamrocks. And if you have a liner brush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to show these stems. Can you do a yes, close up? Yes, I sure can. You do it like that if you like. Okay, so these little the stems that go down from um from from the clover here, you just you know just kind of see like what what clover is it going to and where would it be coming from kind of thing when you're doing it. There's so there should be like um two stems are these called stems or vines all right are these called stems or vines does anybody know well if it's like vine. lettuce it's a stem especially like it's like you know um well i think spinach it's a stem but this is shamrocks not spinach <laughs> <laughs> specifically asking about the shamrocks not well spinach. shamrocks are like spinach <laughs> spinach at all but i think that because clover is like a vine these are vines how about the stems i'm okay. gonna call them stems <laughs> yes sue we are we're getting hungry hungry stem see mama says mama stem. knows okay all right perfect see, she's just... okay so so um these stems that come down to here like there's two here so you should have two stem vines coming down here and then there's three here so you should have two stem vines coming kind of through here if you have a smaller liner brush then you can use that for the stems but you still can use the um the three quarter the three quarter inch uh, brush that we're using for almost everything and uh, you just kind of want to if you, you can use it by, sh by what i call like sharpening let me help me am I at? <laughs> here let's just go there here Sorry, we go I have hair on my face there you go. now you're in that view okay there you can you can um sharp what i call sharpen your brush like a pencil and just do just the ends into your paint like that and so if you do it like that it gets nice and sharp and you can actually make straight lines with it by keeping it completely upright all right so um put this in here and so i'm going to put a stem that kind of comes down this way and it's going to go down to this clover here, okay? And I'm gonna kind of put it into there, all right? And then I'm gonna sharpen it again for my next line, which is just gonna kind of go from here to here to that one. And then you have three stems coming in here. One is gonna go down here, so we're gonna say that it's coming out of the hat along in here. And then it's going down here to the middle of this one. And then I'm going to sharpen it again. And this one's going to be coming, coming down to this clover. And then you need another one that's going to come to this clover. Okay. All right. So I'm going to cross this one over here. It's going to go behind that one and go into that one there. All right. And then we're going to do our gold buckle next. So the reason that the reason I'm able to use this three quarter inch flat brush like a pencil or like a liner is because I take good care of it. I rinse it out as soon as I'm done with it. I rinse it out and I just kind of pull it flat together like that. At the end of the night, I wash them all with a little bit of detergent and just kind of pull it through and sharpen it like that. That's why I can depend on this brush. So, but this brush, I'll give you an example of why it's important to take care of your brushes. Basically the same brush, it's a three quarter inch brush, but if you don't take it, can they see this mm -hmm. brush? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there? Yep. There. If you don't, um, if you leave it sitting in the water, it's gonna get a funky edge to it. It's not gonna sharpen for you or anything, or when you're, and cleaning it, if you're pouncing it down in the water, like just pouncing it flat, it's gonna make, them, make it all spread apart like that. So we wanna swoosh it kind of back and forth like that in the water and then pull it out so that it keeps that sharp edge. And you can see um, the problem with this one is the same thing. It's from pouncing it down 
in the water like that. Now, these brushes have their own use after you've ruined them, but um, this is a fairly new brush, still has a face cap on it. All right, so um, if everyone's kind of caught up on the clover, Mr. Green Squawker, Squaw oh, Seamus, that's really good. <laughs> All right, okay. So we're gonna do next the gold buckle. And um, the gold colors are usually super, super thin. And so this is going to take two or three coats. We're not going to do the black. We're going to do the black last because then we're going to have to clean our brush. Our water is going to be ruined. So the next thing we're going to do is the gold buckle. All right. So the thing about the buckle, if you're freehanding it, is that the buckle kind of is supposed to, I guess, kind of slide over that black band. And so you want the buckle to kind of be even across there to, to kind of make sense. So I'm going to put the gold on um, the tray that doesn't have the green on it. And I'll show you why in a minute. Hey, so, you know, one second, let's have a question here from. Sure, Andrea. So I use, um, I actually, I love the Delta coat or the Ceram coat. I love those. They're nice, thick quality. Which one you want to show it to so she can see? And I'm going to just show her. So, so this is the Ceram coat brand. Okay, hang on, let me get that picture for you. It's a, it's Delta. It's called Ceram coat, and it's an exquisite, nice, thick. They're, you can always depend on them. However, a lot, you know, a lot of the craft stores are selling out. They're closing down. We had an AC more that we could always depend on to get this. Um, and um, Michael's doesn't have quite the variety that they used to have. But if you live close to one of those, what's the other one? Hobby Lobby, they probably have the Serene Coat. But we we don't live real close and I don't like I don't like shopping, but we we live super close to a Walmart. So that's why when I do the supply list, I try to I try to tell people these are apple barrel colors, and that's fine. But it's why you have to put a couple of coats of paint on there. The Ceram coat is 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 um, usually the best brand. All the ones I'm using tonight are kind of the Ceram coat. This gold is um, is a folk art, and it's probably second to the Delta. But gold usually is going to be um, is going to be thin, so it's going to need a couple of coats. But that's such a good question because it's so frustrating when you you paint something and you can see it with your eyes and then you go to paint it and the paints don't cooperate you have to put so many coats of paint on it all right so we're just going to paint the belt buckle with the gold belt buckle we're going to paint the hat brim with the gold and i try to use as few supplies as possible just so people don't think they have to go out and, uh, and buy a bunch of um, colors and supplies and paints and brushes. I try to keep it as you know, simple as possible, but, and, and I like whimsical a lot, but I don't like whimsical to the point that, you know, there's just a fine line with whimsical, I guess. So we're just going to put coat number one. But Andrew, thank you for asking that question. That's why I tried to put that little thing on um, Facebook the other day to kind of show my experiments with the different color green because I thought, oh, cool. They have, a, they have a shamrock color. How cool is that? And it just was too thin. Okay, so we're going to uh, do the gold. And then we're going to do the black because after we do the black, we're going to have to change, change our water and clean our brush really, really good. So I'm putting my black, and um, for this black is usually good no matter what brand you buy. Um, but this is a this is a Craft Smart, and black is usually good no matter what, and it usually covers really well no matter what. I'm putting the black on in this instance. I'm putting the black on this plate um, for a reason, and I'll, and I'll show you in just a minute why. All right, and then we're just going to paint our. Our brim. Is everybody doing okay? Um, Kat, Alice, how you hold it up? A lot of times, many times people just join us and watch the live and then go back and uh, paint uh, with a video afterwards because there'll be a video posted within like five minutes after the class closes. 
because with the video you can uh, stop it, pause it, and you don't have the distractions. But if you're watching it and you get behind or you don't know what the heck I'm doing or whatever, please just be sure to uh, to let me know. <laughs> oh, cool, Cat. That's fun. Cat Laverne was supposed to, uh, Laverne's daughter was supposed to paint with her um, too. I love the way that kids' paintings come out because they're usually like they don't sometimes have the inhibitions and the perfectionist issues that, that we have. Um, so I love to see the way they come out. Jessica's daughters came out to die for. It was so, so neat. We were thrilled. And um, who else came with the daughter? Uh, Jessica and, ugh, why am I drawing a blank? Uh -huh. Claudia, is it Claudia? Good. Kat, y'all should all do the spring break one next week or week after next. That'll be fun. You don't have to pay for each one of them. You can just pay for the one. And again, with the brim, you want to paint around this way because that make, helps with the illusion that, um, that it's going around. Okay. And you can get some sharp edges around around those edge uh, around the edge there by sharpening the brush by putting it in that way, laying it pretty flat, and that way, and loading it so it gets a nice sharp edge. And then you can just go right along the edge there, like that. Okay, and same thing here. <laughs> I wish we had a video so we could video a cat with painting with the kids tonight. <laughs> okay, so we we did the um, the brim, and I'm gonna switch to the number two brush, the number two round brush, or you could switch to any smaller brush to do the inside of the black shadowed area inside of there now. It'll help to be able to get in between those little areas a little bit better. I think just because Kat came up with the, the, the name um, Simos. She said that's what one of her kids was named. And she's got All right, she, thank you, Alice. Thank you for letting me know. She has an eight and nine year old. Cool. My cousin Kat has a eight and nine year old boys, and I think the, our nephews are spending the weekend, and they're like nine and ten, and then she has a six month old. I don't know why she doesn't want to paint with this. Okay, what are you saying about cat? Maybe the kids would like to have the chicken. Oh, there you go, cat. We're gonna, we're All right, gonna cat, send you the chicken. The cat, kids can tell, have it. Tell the kids Seamus. that Seamus. She says, "Well, Seamus." Oh, that's a cool name. That is cool. It's Irish for James. There you go. Oh my god! All right, if, that's so cool. If they paint a really good picture for us tonight and post it and so post it. it yeah we'll send you the chicken the chicken tell them that we'll send them the chicken and everybody else can be in a drawing so show the, the kids chicken. the chicken go get the chicken now huh you threw the chicken behind oh, you oh damn it where did the chicken oh sorry where did the chicken go <laughs> <laughs> he sounds sick <laughs> Excuse me while All right, I everybody. And get the for now, we still have to go buy another chicken for everybody that participated in trying to name it. But I really would like for somebody with 
kids to have this chicken. That would mean the world to me. Hello, boys and girls. Stupid chicken. <laughs> The boys do want the chicken. All right, they got it. You got <laughs> All it. All right. So, I think I have, I have your address right. But everybody else, if, since you were in the contest, will enter. We'll still do the drawing for you. When my son was little, um, and my my uh, his dad and I were separated, and he had him uh, for visitation one Easter. I sent one of those little chickens that squeak in this Easter basket. And so um, I just thought that was so funny. So the next year I had him for Easter, he sent the chicken back. And so every year for years, we sent the stupid chicken back, <laughs> back and forth, just to aggravate each other. It was just one of the many ways we spent aggravating each other. But that's another topic. Hey, 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 easy there. Okay, there we go. Your chicken might have a little bit of paint on it by the time it gets to your house. <laughs> he sounds like he's singing Old MacDonald. <laughs> All right, we'll put the chicken away. Bye, chicken. <laughs> you soon will have a new home. So, <laughs> I didn't know that was an Irish name. Learn some. See what all you learn when you when you join our paint parties. Now you know. Okay, I'm going to finish up the black here and. Then I'm going to run and rinse out my black off my brush really good because it'll stain your brush if you don't get the black out of there. And it's just a uh, black and red. They will stain your brush and you'll never be able to get it out. And if you don't rinse it out really, really good, and next time you, when you're painting something, it ends up in all your colors. Okay, it looks like I have all my black covered. There we go. Little spot there. Little spot there. Little spot there. All right. Do you want to ask another family feud question while I run oh, and sure. rinse my black out of my brush oh, and that. dump my water? So this is a good time if you've got black on your on your brushes um, to rinse it out really good with detergent. Nick's going to ask the next family feud question. Let right, me get ready before you, before you go. Before you go. Okay, I got it. All right, he's got it. I got a good question. All, all right. right, it's all about Which you. Go. It's all about me. All right, go. Run. <laughs> all right. Okay. Everybody, where's my squeaker guy? I don't know where he went. I'm gonna call him Squeaker. <laughs> all right. So here's the family feud question for tonight, and it goes like this: We asked one, not we, but the question asked. 100 women, what would you do if your guy gave you a necklace that was ugly? So we have five questions, five, five answers. One, two, three, four, five. We have five, top five answers. We ask 100 women, what would you do if your guy gave you a necklace that was ugly? So there you go. Okay. Are you back yet? Did you hear the question? All right, we got Adrian says wear it. We got wear it. Say aw. <laughs> Say thanks. Love it. All right. Thank him. Oh, you're all too just too nice. Just too nice. Okay. Thank him. It's adorable. Act like I lost it. <laughs> uh, accidentally lose it, cat. <laughs> Tell him I love it.
Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> All right. I have to go back and look and see who did what. And as soon as she gets back with the water. All right. Okay. Ready? What are we doing? Nothing. We, we didn't do anything. All right. What happened? What happened while I was gone? <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound. That didn't sound right. What happened while I was gone? So anything I should know? <laughs> what? <laughs> Trying to read the comments to make sure everything was safe while I was gone. Okay. Let me get the paint off of my phone. Did anybody text me anything? Nope. All right. Cool. Okay, so we're basically going to go um, back and do a second color on this green because no matter what color green you use, it um, always ends up kind of being thin. Now, I one of the things that I um, had mentioned on or uh, showed on there was the glitter color that I came up with because some people just love glitter. I'm not so much a glitter person, although I have glitter in my fingernails the last couple of months because I can because I work from home now, so people don't see these crazy colors that I have. So um, so I thought a glitter would be good, so I got this Emerald Extreme Glitter, Extreme. And I defy you to see on this painting where the glitter actually ended up at, because I put it on there and you can barely see it. So um, the glitter paint is, is still kind of thin, but if you're going to put, if you're going to put glitter on yours, if you decide to put glitter on yours, when this, when we put this next coat on, if you have glitter to sprinkle on there while that's wet, I don't know why I did that. I mean, what was that? Is that sock pocket? I guess a sock pocket. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> oh, what that, that, I don't know if that means wet in sign language. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but anyway. I guess that meant wet, like tacky. So while it's wet at that point, you can sprinkle glitter on it. If you want to, it'll stick to it. Or if you want to go back um, later and put glitter on it, do another coat in spots and then put the glitter on it that way. Okay. So um, this time what we're going to do though, is we're going to take our crisp green. And put enough on my palette for a change because I usually don't. I always forget to put enough on there. And we're going to take um, some yellow. Not, we don't really need a lot of yellow. We're just going to use it to kind of highlight the outside areas of, of um, the clovers. And the middle of the clovers, we're going to do curved lines on the, the middle of each one of the clovers, uh, shamrocks, and then on the clover here. Okay, we're going to do curved lines so that they, it gives them um, some balance. Okay, so um, we're just going to put the yellow down here. Um, I'm going to go back over the green on the hat and on the brim. And then we're going to use the green with some yellow on it for the clover. Okay. So I'm going to wet my brush. I'm going back to using my three quarter inch brush, wet it, get the excess paint off of it. And um, we're just going to go back over the screen. If yours wasn't thick enough, if, it, if you're fine with yours, you don't need to do this step. But it goes a lot faster now that it already has one coat on it. We're just going to put the other coat on top of it. And you're probably going to see some spots in there where you kind of missed it before and you can go back over those or where the, the canvas drink up your green. They drink the green paint. So just going to go back over those areas. Some mine drink up some paint around the edges here. Okay, and then we're going to go around the rim. Again, we're going to go in the direction that the rim is going. And a 
around the edges. I see that I missed some green the first time. So I'm just going to go back into the edge there. And then we're going around this way. All right, so I've got some results from the last question I asked. Did you hear the question? I didn't hear the question. I was running around trying to clean my brush. So I only have two out of the five, really, because everybody said the same thing. What was the question? The question was, we asked 100 women, and that wouldn't be you and I. <laughs> we don't even know 100 women. <laughs> I think we do, but... What would you do if your guy gave you a necklace that was ugly? Oh. Uh, so number one answer is keep it or say thanks. So I've got cat on that one for number one. I've got number number four from Laverne. She says, um, pretend like you lost it. <laughs> and I'm going to count that as never wear it. <laughs> so I'm giving her oh number four. Oh my God, four. that's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even make sense for him. <laughs> oh my god, that is. And then Kat comes funny. back with she's allergic to metal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll find out whatever it is, suddenly become allergic to it. <laughs> I can just picture Kat gets a necklace and then she scratches her neck all up. I think I'm allergic to this. <laughs> so I don't have number two, number three, or number five. I think that's the only two solutions. I mean, there's nobody here who gives a number two answer. Let me think. If I give it away, I don't. I mean, I can't think of somebody giving you a necklace that was ugly. What? Well, I mean, I just can't imagine. <laughs> All right, well, y'all ponder that. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. <laughs> we are going, we got, we painted the green of the hat and <laughs> we painted the green around the rim. Now we're going to go back and paint the second coat on um, the clover. And but what we're going to do is we're going to load it with green and then we're going to get just a little yellow on the edge. So it kind of looks like that. And we're going to go around. Um, I'll start. Let's see. I'll start with this one just so you can kind of yeah, see better. See if I can change. Oh, sorry. Move it, move it. I got it. Okay. So we're just going to take the yellow, the edge that has the yellow, the little bit of yellow on it, and we're going to go around the outside of um, the clover with that. You're probably going to have to put what? I'm just reading your comments. Oh. Ask him to exchange it or re gift, re -gift it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them you're allergic. So we're just going to go around like half of it with the yellow and then you're going to have to reload it because that's just a wee bit of yellow on there and you'll need more. So um, so if you're using the three quarter inch, you're just going to kind of go right along the edge there and you can see it doesn't go very far. So you're going to have to kind of go back and dip just them. If you get too much yellow, no big deal. Just paint back over it with um, the green. Okay, so that's what we're going to do with each one of these. Shamrocks now, we're just going to get the yellow and just kind of go along the outside there, the outside edge with the yellow. Okay, so we're putting the green on it, just a little bit of yellow. And we're going right along the edge of the shamrock with that yellow. And pressing it down so that some more of the green gets on the rest of it. Okay, so we're going to start along in here somewhere. Go kind of along the edge like that. Add a little bit some more green, some more yellow. <laughs> Leave <laughs> Accuse him of cheating and saying it's for his mistress. <laughs> <laughs> like, why didn't you know what kind of necklace I would like? Oh my god. Uh, rough crowd, folks. Rough crowd. Rough crowd. Rob is gonna go with number five for that one. Just because I like it. Well, tell us what was number two. Uh, number two was tell him the truth. Not one of you would tell him I don't like it. <laughs> Not one of you. <laughs> Not one would say. 
I don't like it. Like it. <laughs> oh, that's, I guess that's pretty bad. <laughs> so Robin, for leaving him, I'm going to count that as being unhappy. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, how would how would he not know what you like? Uh, that's funny. That is funny. <laughs> oh man. So if you get too much yellow in here, we'll go back over it with green. If you didn't get enough yellow on here around the edges, because it's kind of personal taste, right? Um, and we're still going to go over it with a white, a little bit of white highlight. Um, so if it's too much, we can go back over it with green. If it's not enough, you can go back over it. I think I just picked up too much that time. Let me see. It's all right. It's a little bit too much, but I'm going to make it work. It's a dying leaf. That's why it's down low. <laughs> I know. There was one that was all the way down in the grass of the original pattern or the original picture I saw because there was no pattern to this. I made the pattern. And, and I just thought, well, I just, I don't want it to be like down in the grass all the way down the grass like that okay so i'm going to continue to just go around my each one of mine with some, with the yellow and picking up some green so that the interior of the leaf is getting more um, green in there too so just all the way around and again you might have to do a third color depending on the color green that that you chose and that's okay definitely teach it teaches you you know to a lot about the different colors the consistency you know okay so we're going to do that with each one of these and um, so for me because i'm a super messy painter I shouldn't have done this one down here, just so you know. I personally shouldn't have done these down here, so I'm so messy. I'll end up dragging my hand through it. It's better with paintings if you just like kind of try to come down them and paint, so you're not dragging your hand through it. But I didn't follow my own advice that time, so now I have to really be careful painting these up here so that I don't end up smearing everything down there or getting it on my shirt that my mom and I got on clearance last year somewhere. <laughs> I'm actually going to turn mine because I painted that down there first. So, and for each one of them, you can put more on it, you can put less on it. Some of them you might want a lot of yellow, you might want a little yellow, but it's starting to look like a clover, right? Whose clover is starting to look like clover? Who's Oh, Sue needs to know how many points. How many? <laughs> Andrea should what? No way. Um, how many? <laughs> whose clover is, if you're painting, whose clover starting to look like a clover now? Whose shamrock starting to look like a shamrock? See, I did it. You did. I dragged my hand through. <laughs> Pretty bad about that. Alice, is your is your shamrock starting to look like a shamrock, Alice? Kat says hers looking like um, big fat clovers now. <laughs> Alice is sort of, <laughs> sort of, kind of. Myla painted the motorcycle. She said her gas tank looked like a, a record player or a record. Like, I don't know where you got that from. It looks spectacular. No, not Myla, Missy. No, it was Myla that said that. Got all my ends missed, confused. 
Okay, I've got kind of all my yellows outlined. You want to take some and let him know. I kind of like mine. I'm going to go back just a couple of them. I wish I would have put more around this one. And so, yeah, this is the time to kind of go back and and look at it and make sure that you got the make sure you got all the greens covered that there's no white showing there if you want more yellow like here i'd like to have more yellow here so i'm going to put my yellow up in there all right and then some of my greens are still looking thin so i am going to go back and just add um the green in the middle of some of these even though we are going to go back and cut and highlight them more so this is a good time to just kind of go back and make sure that you have enough coverage in the middle of these guys. And that you don't have any, whoa, that was way too much there. And that you don't have any white showing. I wish I knew the words to that song when Irish eyes were smiling. That's all I know of the song. I'm just kind of going back and fine tuning some of my shamrocks that I feel like didn't quite get enough green on them. Just kind of fill in the middle in on some of these. I've uh, got the lyrics right here for you. Can you sing it for us? I don't know the song. It's you've got the lyrics right in front of you. Don't don't yell at me. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see what we can do. Maybe I might be able to do something here. You know, actually, with the with the software that we use called Streamyard, um, with the software that we use, we could actually get everybody online to see each other one night. So I was thinking about doing, we did a 50s theme for my mom's 80th birthday party last year. Thank God we did a, the birthday party because then after that, nobody could see each other for a long time. Um, so who would attend and, and show up on camera um, for maybe a 50s theme paint party and um, but you'd have to, but you'd be on camera. I mean, you'd, it, it'd be your choice, of course. Well, we need about uh, five people because we only have a certain amount of people on. So we'll pick five. It, well, if we did, but if we did a Facebook room, we could have oh. as many as we wanted. And it wouldn't be recorded. All right, we couldn't do the quality that we're doing here, though. Yeah, but we could still kind of just party and hang out and say hi. So um we could actually this room stream or you couldn't but we can do a facebook room and we could all be on at the same time and see each other and um we could have like maybe a 50s theme party and just pay together to do something simple that doesn't doesn't take very long who would want to do that wouldn't it be fun yeah i think that would be fun and we could even do it like we do at work um because we all we, we work virtually and so at work, when we're going to do a Zoom, we just put on a nice shirt and we still have our pajamas on the bottom. <laughs> I'm going to check into that. I think that would be fun. And it would just kind of be, you know, your choice. If it was, a, and we did it in the, we did it for mom's birthday this year because we had to because of everything. Um, and we did a Facebook room, not recorded. We got a bunch of people on there. We had like, you know, I forget how many people on there. It was fun. We had a good time. Okay, so um, the next thing I'm going to do is rinse my brush. And we are going to make a, um, we're going to use our yellow and make that curved line down our, down, let me donate another hair out of here. Get my hair on my feet. Hold on. 
We're going to do um, the yellow by sharpening, the, sharpening your brush like a pencil. Just going to go back and forth in the color like that. And then we're going to do a curved line down the middle of each one, kind of like that. If you have a liner brush, you can use that. But otherwise, just every time you go to do one, though, you'll need to sharpen your pencil. Your pencil. You'll need to sharpen your brush again. Who even uses a pencil anymore? Me. I love pencils. I do too. Yeah, your best bet for this is going to be to every time you're going to make a line down the middle, just sharpen your um, sharpen your brush and you make it kind of curved. Make it kind of curved. Make it kind of curved. You can make these lines bold as you want or as small as you want. Oh, picked up greens to the yellow there. What do you have for? Oh, can you check? Let's see, did her score. Oh, Sue's back five. Oh, she did. Did she? Well, she's answered, she was, but, oh. but I think she answered it. Yep, she answered. She, she's got five. Oh, you're just doing the top five? Yep. Okay. She's just doing the um, top five answers on there. All right, so we're doing, um, we're just doing those kind of strokes on the yellow there down the middle and then what we're going to do is add um, these these kind of white lines that go like this to kind of create the, the highlight there all right so we're going to use some of our white paint put it on there we don't need a lot at all probably just put too much on there but that's okay you can still use the brush you were using, and usually we're. There is another pair. Are okay. you shedding? I'm shedding. It's I'm, I'm allergic to that chicken. It's making me <laughs> shed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so usually, um, we like to put our brush in the um, in the water and get it wet and get the excess off. This time we're just going to leave it super dry, and we're going to drag some of the white off. You can leave the yellow on there. We're going to drag um, some of the white off and to make this basically kind of delicate um, little highlights on here. Can you show them close up? Mm -hmm. These little highlights here, they're going to be done with a dry brush style. So you can use your three quarter inch or um, the ruined brush that I showed you, this ruined brush that, that actually makes a good. Okay, um, so sorry, I thought you were going to the side. Sorry. There you go. You're good. But um, so whenever you're gonna, so we're gonna use, the dry, we're gonna dry brush those little strokes on there. I always like to do it on my camp, on my palette first to kind of make sure, I'm gonna do it in yellow so you can kind of see it, wow. to make sure it's the look that I want. I'm gonna have a dry brush stroke any second if I'm getting some food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna just kind of use the end of it. Um, and we're just not gonna put a lot on there. And if we do, and it's too much, we're going to go back over it okay so we're just going to kind of do it straight up and just a little comma stroke okay kind of like zoom little comma strokes like that actually the chicken sounds like me at night so snoring yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right okay and if it ends up being too much like that um the white that's right there that might be too much for some people and if it is just get some green and just kind of go do the same thing back over it like that and it'll cover it and it'll still have that that um, look in there okay so i'm gonna wipe the green off there and then i'm going to go on each one of my clover and i'm going to make this little comb shaped um stripes on there and probably going to have to um for each one load the brush each time and again, if it's too much, then your green, your paint is going to, your green paint is probably still wet. And that's absolutely fine. It looks a little bit better that way sometimes. Oh, 
the bigger ones you're going to have to do kind of two strokes in there load your brush each time and it's just some highlights in there to kind of pop out because clover have like little veins in them i'm just gonna leave that one alone okay because you're so vain <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Sometimes it's just too easy, folks. <laughs> See, I it's would tell you if I didn't like the necklace. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just throw it in the pile and never use it. No. All the other, like all the other that's a, that's and... one of the that's one of our great things about our relationship and <laughs> not so great. We're both so bluntly honest. <laughs> Okay, so we're just gonna do these little swooshes on each one of these. Swoosh, there it is. Cool. Okay, was Kat the only one? Oh no, right, Sue. That's so true. Sue said I'm gonna hear the chicken tonight, probably. Last week I had Laverne's uh, Laverne's um, magically delicious stuck in my head, and then Lisa jinxed me and said it's gonna stay in my head. Okay, so we're just going to each one of the leaves and putting little veins on there. Put as many or as few as you personally like. If they're too thick, like that one I just did there, I'm going to go back over it. All of these on this leaf are too much, so I'm just going to go back over it. Because that was too thick for me. There we go. And that's how you fix that. Okay. All right, I'll let everybody get caught up doing that shading around the edge there. And while you're doing that, I used a little bit of darker green to um, shade along the edge of this, the, some of the yellows and also on the stems or vines that go down. And so you can do one of two things. I have a, um, I have a marsh green that I, that I like to use for highlighting that works out really good. So I'm just going to put the marsh green on here, but otherwise you can take some of your green here and put um, just a wee bit of black in it to darken that up some <laughs> for the um, highlighting. You, see, you gotta say it, you a should say bit, it right. A wee, wee bit. bit a little. <laughs> I can. I'm a wee bit of little green on that. I have a that. southern accent going on that is not working. <laughs> oh, it's a bit lucky charms. <laughs> they are magically delicious. Okay, so I'm going to um, just highlight just a little around um, those little yellow lines and down the stem vine things. You don't have to if you like the way it looks, but I'm just going to kind of, and I'm going to do it kind of wet. Um, so I'm going to dip my, I'm going to, I'm using the round brush, um, but a liner brush would work well as well. Um, I got the, I put it in the water, rinse it off, but I'm just making it a little like muddy, a little wet. And then I'm just going to kind of go along the, just along um, the edge of the yellow line down the middle to just give it just a little bit of shadow there. A little bit of separation there and it kind of makes it pop out a little bit better okay you can do it on both sides of the yellow or just one side of the yellow see what you think once you get it on there you'll kind of see what it looks like and what it and how it kind of blends in there 
Okay, and again, I started at the bottom, which is not good for me because I'll always end up dragging my sleeve through it. Just kind of right next to it there. All right, so after we, um, after we uh, shadow around these, we're going to do the stem. Did you get it? I thought did, I did, I but did I did. I was watching. I was watching. I was like, oh. <laughs> she did it. <laughs> we're going to put another coat on the gold, um, the gold. Because my, I don't know about you guys, but my black covered very well. So I don't need to put another coat on my black. I don't know if you guys, how yours turned out. All right, so I have my one clover left here and then I'm going to do the stem vines. <laughs> All right, did I do each one? That, 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 yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna kind of go on top of these stem vine things here. Kind of on top, kind of alongside. Okay, so. You want to should I ask another question while you're doing that? Sure. Because um, it seems like... So the only thing that we have left to do is we're just going to highlight this. I'm going to do um, I'm going to do the gold buckle, and I'm doing the grass last, kind of, before um, I show them the, what they can do with the rainbow if they want to do it, because not everybody's doing the Are rainbow. we doing the rainbow tonight? Um, no, I'm just going to kind of show them how to do it, because not everybody wants to do right. the rainbow. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And then if I, yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask one of my um, man question now. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I'll just put myself in the little corner over there. Yeah. There we go. You put That's yourself good. in the corner? Nobody puts me in the corner, but me. Nobody puts me in the corner. Okay. Here we go. Oh. I've been sitting too long. All right, next question. Okay. All right, who's ready for the next question? Go for it. Okay, here we go. I'm touching up some blue while you guys are, are doing that because I know you're catching up a little hey, bit hey, too. I think you should read the question. I can't. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I'm going to read the question. Okay. Okay, question time. Here we go. This is number four, I think, on our questions. We have one more. One after more. That. Yeah. Okay. It could be a tiebreaker question. Tiebreaker. Go for it. Okay. Name something that gives men a feeling of power. Buying necklaces for people? No. That would be no. <laughs> that would be a no. That would be a heck no. <laughs> the family friendly out there. That's a single barrel no. <laughs> All right, well, I thought. All right. Fast car. I'll read the uh, question again. Name something that gives men the feeling of power. And these are not our answers, by the way. These Kat are says car. And that is number two on my list. We got a big hug. Oh and, and it's um, family friendly. All right, who said money? Well, speed of money. It's money. family friendly too. So. Yeah. Robin said money. That is number one on my list. Ta -da. Um, number three is a job. Good going. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> uh, what else can you think of? You got money, car. Uh, can I say? Can you say no? <sighs> no. You want to whisper? What I'm doing? No. 
Yes, that is on the list. Is it? Yes. All right. It's family on the list. friendly and it's on family the list. Family friendly, but it's on the list. Um, what what I'm doing while you guys are um, catching up and finish up this <laughs> is just adding a little bit of, um, I, I mixed in a little dark blue with the blue I had and I'm just kind of going around the um, edges of my hat with it. Cat's coming up with all the answers tonight. <laughs> Settle down there, cat. Settle down. <laughs> the other night it was um, Sue, Laverne, and Diane. Robin. Wait, Diane's got the great answer. What was it? <laughs> it's the great answer. It's not on there, but that's a great answer. What'd she say? Remote. <laughs> <laughs> think that's yeah, it. these questions are from I'm not sure how long ago, but that remotes definitely definitely pertains today. <laughs> so what, that was good, Diane. I don't even know how to work a remote. So what I'm doing right now with it, I kind of mixed a little bit of a darker blue, and I'm just kind of going around the hat with the darker blue, um, and just kind of giving it a whirly kind of motion. And then I'm going to go around the edges of the the um, the clover, the shamrock, and the clover. With kind of the same thing, I'm just I just mixed just a the um, a little dark blue with some white, and then I had a pretty cloud color that I like, and so I'm just going to kind of go around the around the edges, kind of mix them almost like have a little bit of motion with that like that. You don't have to do it. That's why I'm kind of um, just kind of doing it while you guys are catching up. It's definitely something that you could do afterwards too if you don't have time. To do it now. Whoop, too much blue there. And the one thing that I forgot to do, uh, because some of these sometimes family feud just cracks me up so much I forget some things. <laughs> So I've, got to, I've got to go back and do the shading on the front of the hat. Money! Must be the money! <laughs> oh, look at Kat's question here. All right, there you go. <laughs> yes, they can have the chicken. They won the chicken. No, no, they no, can, no, oh, no, no, no. That's right. They no, have to post, no, no, no. They have to post their pictures. They have to post the pictures. <laughs> You gotta follow the pictures, through on the deal. Yeah, the pictures just mean the world. You guys? Yeah. Yeah, tell them they can they can post if they post the pictures, then they can uh, do it. Pictures, Laverne's got grilling, hunting, oh, fishing. Oh, grilling is totally yeah. it. Hanging with buddies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got money, car, and Kat has said this, the third answer. The fourth answer. Um, so if somebody can repeat what Kat says, I'll give it to you. I'm not going to tell you which one it was, but um, she's got number two with car. Robin's got number one with money. Oh, oh there it is. All right. Well, you'll do that. And so I put some of the blue, I just mixed, like I said, I mixed the, the darker blue with a little bit of white here. And so then when I go back and I kind of look at it, some of it turned out a little darker than I'd like. And I, and I actually like it when things like that happen. So I can kind of show you when you do have something that doesn't turn out quite right, paint is paint. It goes back over it. So I'll just go back kind of over this here because I felt like it turned out too dark. And the one thing that I forgot to do, because I'm, I'm going to blame it on Nick. But anyway, is when you're doing the highlights on the um, on the clover, and um, that's a good time to do the highlights on the front of the hat as well. And I did not do that, so we're going to go back and use the white that we had over here, and we're just highlighting kind of right here where like light might shine. So I'll show you what that looks like. Is we're going to do the same thing that we did on the clover. We're doing it right here down the front. We're doing it kind of right there, okay? Very good. All right, Laverne, I got a question for you. Uh-oh. 
Um, you've got the number. So we're dragging it super lightly across here. Okay. And then we change that picture a little bit too. You can probably scoot that picture down a little bit. Just hold there. Thanks. Yeah. Better? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do it super lightly across here. That's too much white right there in my opinion, but yeah. we're going to do it super lightly here, across the top of here, in the middle of here. It's coming across here like that and it's going along here and kind of this side there okay so that's what we're doing with that white that we should have done earlier I'm so sorry. sorry sorry about that okay laverne you want question number you want the answer number three or number four because you gave both of them and you tell me which one you want and i'll give it to you oh there's some And Alice has got number five with guns. I said guns too. <laughs> the very one's number three, of course. Number three on that one was women. <laughs> <laughs> so she put wife and girlfriend. I figured she's got them covered. <laughs> All right. And that leaves one more open. All right, so we just have just a little bit longer on this. We're doing, like I said, we're doing the highlight across the front of here. If um, you have glitter, this is a good place to put the glitter. I also took the um, darker green, mixed a little bit with the, or you can, like I said before, you can mix some black in with it, mix a little in with the green, and then we're going to make it darker across here. Okay, so we're just going to put kind of that darker green across here. It's kind of shading across here. And this is what we're just kind of stroking across there. And this is kind of what the end goal looks like. We're just kind of doing it here and here and some around the brim there. That's what we're doing. Okay. I'm going to switch back to my three quarter brush because it just, it's a little stiffer. It gives me more of the kind of dry edge that I'm looking for here. And then we're doing some on this side here. Just kind of over to the edge there. Check and make sure that's okay. Okay. All right. And then we're just doing around the edge here too. Here, a little bit around the edge here, and around the edge here. Okay, so we're just kind of dry brushing it around the edge like that. There we go. Okay. All right. So we're just putting the highlights in here. I did use some of that glitter on mine here down the front of there. And then we're just doing the darker areas there. Now I'm going to um, show you how I, you know, I did the rainbow. I'm going to let you guys do it on your own. If you decide that that's um, what you want to do, this is definitely not for, um, for everyone. We're going to do the, the grass last. Um, but the rainbow, I just basically use not the three quarter. Well, you could use the three quarter inch, but I actually use the half inch on this. And so if you have the um, half inch, you're just, I mean, it's really literally just the width of the half inch. And then I looked on Laverne's Magically Delicious Lucky Charms box to find the order that these go in. And like I said, I did the lighter colors, the softer colors, just because I thought it would just detract from everything um, else on there. So you can just use it and just kind of drag it, you know, across both sides, whichever color, if you decide to do that. Um, and then you can always go back and add clouds if you want to, more uh, around here if you want to. And then I did in the middle of mine, I put some 
little dip dots in the middle of mine just to give them a little bit of pop out of there. And anytime you're going to do dots, you want to use from your paintbrush that has the rounded end because some of them have flat ends. And then just, and I, so I just put just like two little kind of dots in there. Not real big because clover don't actually have dots in there. And I have that realistic logical part of me that won't let me do it. But just enough to kind of put that um, in there. And then the very, so I'm just going to put little dots in the middle here. Biggest little, you don't have to do that because they don't actually have it. Just felt like it made it pop a little bit. And then the very last thing we're going to do is the grass. I think Nick has, do you have one more family feud? I do, I do. Yeah. So I what I did with, with, um, so that's basically it. If you didn't paint tonight, you're going to paint later and you have any questions, um, you can always reach out with that. And then what I did with the grass, um, I just took, you can use your three quarter inch brush. You can use whatever. The reason that I kept these two palettes separate from each other was because for my grass, I literally just did it last. And then I took this old rugged thing and I just kind of mixed all the colors in together. And I just started kind of going like this to create my grass. And that's how I did, um, that's how I did my grass. So I'm just using this palette with everything, including the yellow, the white, and just kind of pulling it up there and just make little sh choppy little motions for grass. And while you guys watch me do that, Nick can ask the last question. Sure, this is right. the last question. Yeah, we were last... a, little, a little bit over, guys. Yep. Sorry about that. We were having a good time. I hope you guys did too. Yep. So we're going to do the top two answers tonight. You can um, definitely use a different brush or do this less messy. Make sure you do the sides too, though. Okay, <laughs> okay top two answers. We're going to be 75 and 25. For the All right, points. get your fingers ready to type. Okay. Sorry for the mess. What okay, uh, I feel like I'm a mess. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is super easy. So get ready. Top two answers. It's easy for him because he has the answers. I've got the answers right in front of me. Name something associated with. Leprechauns. Ah. Uh, How do you like that? Name something people associate with leprechauns. Stop it. Stop oh. it. Stop. I can't see the answers. So I don't even no. know what they are. No. Okay. Top two answers. I'll take the top two answers. Answer once, please. And go. Go, 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 go. Gold. Okay. Oh. No. Lucky charms. No. <laughs> that one Hat. No. <laughs> Are you taking top two answers? A top two. Potter gold, no. Elves, no. <laughs> Come what on. is it? Oh. Oh, it's fine. That's the top two. Okay. I don't like the answers, but they're good. Come on. No one's got it yet. You can win the game. Rainbows, lover. <laughs> Yes, yeah, the top answer. Ta -da! Ta -da! Come on. Who gets number two? That's appropriate. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Tricks. No. Uh, oh, wait. Hat. No. Hat. No. It's not the top two. Oh, sorry. Bread. Does that say bread? Beard, stupid. Beards. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you stupid. <laughs> I apologize. Are you offended? I am not offended. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Beard, not it. Come on. It's a. He's hungry. It's a person, place. It's a person or a place. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. We know. Magic. No, that is good, though. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Who's got the first answer? Laverne's got it? Uh... Let's see who's got the they got hat. Who the heck said rainbow? Oh, Laverne said rainbow. Okay, so Laverne gets. That I said one. that that was appropriate because she's the one that got this thing stuck in my head to start. With. Ireland. It's Yay! close to Ireland. It's the people that are in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> If you're from Ireland, you are. 